You can't say anything about anybody, can you, anymore? No. You can't say this about that person or that about this person because everybody's a goddamn blank American. Oh, stop it. Stop. They're blank Americans. Stop it. Fuck that blank American bullshit. Just be correct. Just correct. Okay? The last group left is fat people. We're it. We're the last ones left. Ain't that a bitch? We're the only group you can join. <laughs> Ain't that a motherfucker? It's messed up. Because all we do, every one of us, okay? You know, you can always make fun of fat people. Oh, watch TV, watch a movie. All fat people do on them is eat shit and fart. That's all we can do. <laughs> eat shit and fart. Ha, ha, ha. Like that movie with Fat Bastard in it. Wasn't that funny? Doesn't it make you ha ha ha? Oh, that's so funny. Oh, God, he wants to eat the midget. Oh, fucking Christ. He thinks that midget's a baby. Get in your belly. Oh, Christ. Did he fart? I think he fucking farted. Oh, I swear to God, that motherfucker's funny. Yeah, Fat Bastard. Ha 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 ha. Friends, let me give you something to marinate on, okay? Let's take another group of people that's easily identifiable, put all their negative stereotypes in a movie, and just see how long that shit would last. Like, not Fat Bastard, what about Black Bastard? Oh, no, he didn't. Yeah, Black Bastard, big, tall Patrick Ewing, missing, late looking motherfucker with Jerry Curl juices dripping down his hair, and the brother's black. I'm talking way darker than Amistad black. I'm talking Sierra Leone black. Like, walk outside at night, close his eyes, motherfucker disappear black. Like, sprinkle salt on him, look like deep space. I'm talking fucking black with gold toothuses, and I said that shit correctly. Toothuses that say player with an A. Medallions from a swap meet who came in second in the Ghetto Olympics with two fat white babies, mamas. Okay, girl. Mm-hmm. Ain't paying a damn bit of child support, still living at his mama's house, slinging a little rock on the side, waiting for a government check, driving a bullshit 82 Pontiac with three $9,000 rims that he's paying off at $36 a week because I'm a player. Yeah, black bass. You know how long that shit would last? About zero seconds, and L.A. would start to burn like fucking Oakland lost twice. <laughs> what about Mexican bass? You're Mexican, hey, fuck you, Holmes. You're going to be the biggest piece of carne asada ever. <laughs> yeah, Mexican bass. A little short, greasy Mexican with a big-ass sombrero and chorizo juice is dripping out of his mustache and little silver baby teeth on a grove fucking man. Silver baby teeth. And if you've been to Mexico, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> little silver baby teeth and a dirty white poncho with bullets and hubcaps right here. A fat, greasy Mexican wife in a prom dress and a tr for no fucking reason with ten dirty kids all selling chicklets. Chicklet, 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 chicklet. You get them chicklet, 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 chicklet. Driving a bullshit 79 El Camino with 15 fucked up lawnmowers in the back. Ain't one I'm working right. Tailpipe head up by a coat hanger. One mud flaps a matador. Another one's a naked girl. And Mexicans always got to paint a scene on the car to remind them of Mexico and shit. Like the 12 people in the car with you can't tell you where the fuck you're from. You got to paint the shit on the car. So you see the Virgin Mary Guadalupe hanging out in the desert with Selena and Emilio. And Julio Cesar Chavez is picking beans. And Telemundo's got a soccer game and Jesus is a referee. Hector Macho Camacho. Chuck Boston, Oscar De La Hoya, and Fernando Vargas in the ultimate Mexican death match. And the horn goes, bum, 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 bum. Y'all been great. Peace.